Should there be co-ed professional sports teams? No, because there's inherent differences in uh, men and women's performance in sports. No. Absolutely not. Very fair. Hell no. <laughs> what are we talking about co-ed, man? Nobody be watching girls out here. Come on. Ten girls compete in baseball with boys. They can play on field. <laughs> Probably not. Excuse me? Can girls compete in baseball with boys? Take a hike, huh? Have you ever competed against a girl in sports? Uh, not competitive. In sports? <laughs> in gym, I guess. And realistically, can you see girls competing against you? Uh, no. Intense. Me. Greg Settles, me. Coming against me. You're telling me they're gonna come in my basketball paint? They're gonna pitch the ball against me? That is out of the park. That is an automatic basket. First pitch, fastball, swing and a miss. Second pitch, fastball, swing and a miss. Third pitch, a nasty curveball. Strike three, you're out. I throw 70 miles per hour. That's throwing like a girl. My name is Monet Davis, I'm 13 years old, and I represent South Philly. About six years ago, I think it was 2008, late fall, the end of the season, and my 10-year-old team had just finished a game. So. I was cleaning up the field. I was dragging the infield. I was on the tractor here. And then there's this, there's this little girl that I'd never seen before. And she's throwing these effortless, perfect spirals, one after another. Like, and she's throwing them like 20 yards. And it, it just it looked like it was computer generated. I went to my cousin Mark's baseball game. And I was there with his friends. And we were just playing football because we had nothing else to do. So we were just playing manhunt. And Coach Steve just came up to me and, st and told me that I should try basketball and baseball. I asked her how old she was. She said she was seven. I said, well, you know, I'm starting, I'm starting a new Monarchs team, seven-year-old kids. It's an all-boys team. If you'd like to join the team, I'd love to have you. She came home and she said, Mom, this man said call him. And she gave me Coach Steve, being Thorer, phone number, and I called him. And he said, you know, I just want to invite your daughter to basketball. I'm like, sure. So she started playing basketball. I knew nothing about baseball. Tuesday night, we were starting basketball practice. We're about five minutes in. We're doing the three-man weave drill. I mean, these are seven-year-olds, but we've been working on it for over a month, so the kids had it down pretty well. And Monet walked in with her mom, and I said, you know, when she walked up, I said, Monet, you don't, you don't have to do this drill. It's a little tough. You can, you can wait till the next one. And she said, no, I'll try it. And when the first two groups went, I watched her eyes and I just saw her processing everything that was going on. It came time for her to go and she did it like she'd been doing it her whole life. And that's, that's when I knew this kid was special. You know, he came to me one day after she started playing and was saying, you know, this is like a gift. Like, you, you really have a gift. So that, that first winter when Monet joined the program, Monet had never worn a baseball glove before. I picked up a tennis ball and threw it, <laughs> but not, I, I, I think I did pick up a, a baseball before, but I wasn't really paying attention. She pitches to me, I catch it, and I throw it back to her, and just as it's leaving my hand, I think, oh no, she never wore a glove before. And most kids that never wore a glove will do this, and the ball will go right over the glove and hit him in the face. So I throw it back to her, and I'm cringing, and, she, and it's right by her head, and she does this. Catches it, gets right in the back of the line, like she's been wearing it her entire life. It's unbelievable. She went from playing nothing organized to having to be here three, four times a week. You gotta be on time, you gotta be here. And, and her mom's been tremendous, and, and her stepdad's, Mark, has been unbelievable. What's that, everybody? 
Hey. What's up? What's up? All right. Let's say your name. Raise your hand. Mahogany. <laughs> Little Mo. Maurice. <laughs> Keisha. Hey. Karan. You here? Yeah, I'm here. And Monet. I'm here. Mark. What's up? Right here. Good. All right, tell us what's happening. I knew she could pitch, but I didn't know it was that serious until, you know, we reached the Little League World Series. As we was trying to get to Little League World Series, I still didn't take it serious. I didn't even know what we was playing for. I realized she could play three years ago up in Harlem. Well, how come you didn't tell her? <laughs> she, she wasn't interested. She wasn't hearing it? No, she wasn't interested. Why weren't you hearing it? Because I'm a basketball. She a, I'm a basketball she was mom. More into I'm basketball. not a basketball mom. What's your favorite sport? Basketball. Why? Well... I've been playing basketball longer than baseball. I've been playing with my older brother since he was about nine or ten. And we were in, I was about like five. I was about ten, and she was like a little bit younger than me. She used to always come over and like play basketball with me and stuff. And I noticed like she had the strength to shoot. So I'm like, well, all right, she good. Then we started playing around. <laughs> Yesterday, we played a game, and I had like 15 threes on them. Wait a minute. Is this true? I let her shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says let he lets you do it. <laughs> he didn't want to step up, so why not? As good a pitcher as she is, she's a better point guard. I know it's hard to believe, but she is. She sees that it's, and again, it's here. She sees the floor like no one I've ever had. I mean. It's, it, she has a plan every time she comes down the court. She analyzes. She sees the court like a chess board. Oh, no, girls can compete with boys in sports now after watching the video. Well, Ren, are you serious? Well, I, I can yeah. see that, like, at certain stages yeah, yeah. In, in development, yeah. you ask yeah. girls can yeah. compete yeah. with boys. Yes. Uh, they, they just look more athletic now. <laughs> How does this video inspire you? How does it inspire me? Um, doesn't, like... I wouldn't say it necessarily inspires me to do anything. It's more just enlightening on, on, on the fact that girls at certain ages can't compete with boys. That's really opened my eyes to a new perspective, and uh, I'm going to convince to play more sports. Um, what is this video change your perspective on girls playing sports? You know what, actually, I got the goosebumps. You know, I really felt like I want to change my mind. I think they can't compete. I think their wages should be hired. I think equality comes first. I think these girls are working hard and they should be treated just the same as us. Huh?